Hello everyone. Welcome back to machine learning sessions. In this session, we'll talk about FOCL algorithm, which comes under using prior knowledge to augment the search operators. We'll see how the prior knowledge will help to augment the search. Let us see the FOCL algorithm. So basically, this the FOIL algorithm. We, already we have discussed the FOIL algorithm, right? What it is doing? It is trying to generate the candidate specializations by adding new literal to the clause preconditions. This we already learned. So similar to this FOIL, FOCL also generates the candidate specializations by adding single new literal to the clause preconditions. Okay, similar to FOIL, it is working, but it also generates additional specializations based on the domain theme. So uh, let us illustrate both. We will be illustrating here FOCL and FOIL both with the help of simple domain of propositional horn clauses. So basically, we will be observing two kinds of literals. One is operational, another one is non-operational. What do we mean by operational is, a literal is operational if it is allowed to be used in describing an output hypothesis. If it is not allowing, then it is a non-operational one. For example, so in the ex cup example, we allow the output hypothesis to refer only to 12 attributes that are there in the training example. Okay, already we have the domain theory, right? So in that, what are the propositions that we have has handle, handle on top? So like the totally 12 we have. So all these 12 are operational ones. Whereas the literals that occur only as intermediate features in the domain theory are called, are treated as non-operational. So these are not there as a primitive attribute. For example, if you see the attributes table, it is derived from a certain, from the primitive attributes out of these 12. I'll just show you that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see these 12, so these 12 are the basic attributes what we have, right? So these are operational ones, whereas the stable, liftable, open as well. So all these are derived from these 12. So these we call as non-operational ones and these are the operational ones. So now, let us see the working of FOCL algorithm. So how it will generate general to specific search is, first of all, for each operational literal that is not part of H, what is it? A current hypothesis. We have to create a specialization of H by adding this single literal to the precondition S. This is also the method used with FOIL. Okay. Here you can see. So in the cup has handle. So not ha uh, having the handle. So here you can see the number of positive and negative examples of this. Okay, I'll explain you this shortly. First, let, uh, let us get the notations. Okay, so wherever you are seeing this solid ones, this is part of FOIL algorithm. Whereas you are, where, whenever you are seeing this dashed one, so this is the extra part that we are adding in the FOCL algorithm. Okay, so create an operational, logically sufficient condition for the target concept according to the domain theory, okay? And add this set of literals to the current preconditions of H. Already in the current hypothesis, we have set of literals. So to that, we are adding. And finally, prune the preconditions of H by removing any literals that are unnecessary according to the training data, okay? So in this process, if you find any literal is unnecessary, so that we will be pruning off. I'll just show you with the help of this example. So the same example, uh, in order to show you this, okay. So 
here the dashed edge in the search tree denotes the additional candidate specialization that is considered by FOCM based on the domain theory. And these solid edges in the search tree will show you the general to specific search steps considered in a typical search followed in the FO FOIL algorithm. I need the help of this domain theory. With the help of this, I will explain you again. Okay. So this is, so here if you see the stable, here from this diagram, you can see large positive weights, large negative weights and negligible weights. Okay. So only we are considering these highlighted ones in order to describe the attribute cup. When will you say a cup? When it is stable, when liftable, and open vessel. So all these three has to be satisfied. Again, these have the sub clauses. When will we say it is stable? Bottom should be flat. When will we say it is liftable? It is It should be graspable and it should be light. When will we say open vessel? Okay, it should have the concavity and the concavity should point up. Okay, so you have to take see the training example which is satisfying all these attributes so that will take you to the target concept cup others are not contributing okay so for example if you see here cup has handle so two positive examples are there three negative examples are there so let us see this has handle yeah this one has handle and here you can see one, two. So two positive ones are there. Under cups, we have two ticks. So these are taken as positive examples. Under non-cups also, you can see three ticks are there. Okay. So though it is a non-cup, so these non-cups are taken as negative examples and cup is taken as a positive example. So similarly, does not has a handle. Okay. So does not has a handle is. So here again you have two positive examples and you have three negative examples, the non-ticked ones. Here two are not ticked as a cup. So it, it is not having a handle under cups section. Under non-cups, three are not ticked. So again, two positive and three negative examples we have. And then cup fragile. So under cup, we have two positive examples and four negative examples we have. So why am, you, uh, why am I explaining you this is, so here, again, once again, we have to consider which attribute is having a higher weightage. So in that case, once again, we take the help of information gain. So to calculate the information gain, once again, we should calculate the entropy and calculate the information gain. So only all these positive and negative examples are classified. So similarly, uh, you can follow the other part. Bottom is flat, light has concavity, concavity points up, handle is on top. Okay, so this dotted arrow is generated from the FOCL, right? So what FOCL is saying, when it is a cup, when the bottom is light, so okay, when the bottom is fly, flat, it should be light. And it should have can concavity and concavity is pointing up. So, okay, so these are contributing heavily in order to describe the given attributes to the target concept cup. So they are contributing more. So our FOCL has combined all these and it has generated a new hypothesis. It has added to the existing hypothesis. So based on that, once again, we are seeing how many positive attributes are there, how many negative attributes are there. So in this also, once again, this is deriving this part, right? Bottom is, I'll go back to the previous slide. Yeah, hello. So from this, once again, this is deriving, bottom is flat, light has concavity, concavity points up and here one more is added what it is handle handle on top here handle not on the top here handle on side okay we are checking the importance of each clause or each attribute 
Okay. So like that, we have marked all positive and negative examples. And then we calculate the information gain. And whichever is having a higher value of gain, that will be considered as a necessary one. Others will be taken as unnecessary. FOCL first selects one of the domain theory clauses whose head matches with the target concept. Okay, so when you need to calculate this information gain, when you have multiple clauses which are matching with, whose head is matching with the target concept. Like that, how many you have in our example? Let's go back and see how many we have. Luckily, we have only one. Only this one is deriving as the target concept. Cup. When we say cup, it as a cup is stable, liftable, and open. -wheel. Only we have one clause. So we need not calculate the information gain. Okay, suppose if you have more number of clauses like this. So then you should calculate the information gain and whichever gives you a higher value that you should select. Okay, so the preconditions of the selected clause form us a logically sufficient condition for the target concept. Okay, so logically when you say it as a cup, so here what we are trying in the process is, okay, how it has, the how the FOCL has generated this is, it is trying to replace, replace the non-operational attributes. What are the non-operational attributes? So these ones stable okay so the first non-operational attribute is stable the second one is lookable third one is open vessel when it is when it is treated as stable bottom should be flat here you can see the first one that is added is bottom is flat uh, let me zoom my screen what happened okay so the first thing that is been added is bottom is flat the second one to say it as a liftable one, what are the things that you should have is made of uh, styrofoam and made of paper, has handle, handle on side, and it should be light. So from all this, I think the higher weight is for the attribute light. So only we are adding light in the, the first here is selecting light. And then the next one, open to call it as an open vessel, it should have has concavity, concavity points. Up. So these two we are considering. Okay. So you can consider the other ones as well, but only these ones we are considering. If you consider the other ones as well, so it you might get other some more clauses added in the in the search path. So be, finally, you will be taking which one is leading you to the target. Okay, so now each non-operational literal in the sufficient condition is replaced. And again, using the domain theory and substituting the clause preconditions, we are getting the clause post conditions. Just now I have shown you, right? Stable is replaced with bottom is flat. And since... So this process of unfolding the domain theory continues until the sufficient condition has been restated in terms of operational letters. And again, if there are several alternative domain theory clauses that produce different results, then the one with greatest information gain has to be selected. And the final operational sufficient condition given the data and domain theory in our current example is bottom is flat, has handle, light, has concavity, concavity points. Up. Finally, our FOCL algorithm has decided this based on the weights and based on the number of positive and negative examples that we have. Hope you followed. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. And if you want any other topics also, please let me know. Okay, if you like the content, do like, share and subscribe. Okay, so I need more subscribers so that I will be encouraged more. I know many of the people are watching. I'm getting nice watch time. At the same time, I need subscribers also, right? Hope my efforts will be recognized and 
I do get more subscribers. Thank you.